Hello and Dave here and welcome to Trasher Overview. So this is pretty much a sequel confirmed by the devs of Framper, the game that kind of like released one of the first ones on the Quest Store. At that time I was still not into this whole overview situation, so I was not playing every single one. I think the whole series is something around rhythmic acid tripping experience, which should be interesting to see how it's gonna perform on the standalone platform. Normally it's all about photogrammetry technology to really immerse you in what you see. With those colorful and dynamic apps, I think Tetris is the best example, but outside of that it's pretty much an unexplored area for me. So Fresher is a mind-melting arcade action game where through the sound of music and unsettling landscapes you're gonna steer a magnificent space eel that swoops and dashes around for its race for survival and dominate the universe in this visceral audiovisual experience. I'm looking at the trailer and I'm not quite sure what the gameplay is really about. You're sort of steering something in the environment and it kind of follows your hand. Then you destroy some targets, collect power-ups to get stronger, fight with bosses and enemies, although it just looks like a very fast and spacey snake to me, so it really bets on the whole visual immersion and its quality of bringing you a decent amount of entertainment. If I'm being honest, it looks kinda boring because it's the same gameplay loop. And maybe if I would play the prequel I would have a better understanding of the dynamic and what I should be looking forward to, but my mind is relatively open. I can appreciate almost every concept if it's done well and it has some polish, which this comes across as such, but it might be just too specific and might cater to people who like to get high in the headsets, like, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's go discover the universe. I <laughs> just straight up jump into it. With no tutorial whatsoever, just figure it out as you go. It's full on 3D. It's not like something in front of you that you just wave your hand around. There's also a slight delay in how he follows and some special effects. I mean, with the graphics, everything's very sharp, but also kind of blocky, so... It's not like a lot of details going on. Ew! Those tentacles, legs, whatever. It's a bit unsettling. And then the size perception is different. Ew! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh, 
there are also some screen tears, I don't know why. <laughs> what the? But who am I fighting against? Like, myself? Because nothing hurts me. Well, I have a timer, I guess. Oh, something, I suppose. <laughs> now there are lines. The scale is pretty interesting here. Okay, it cuts the time. Like it grows in size, but you barely notice it because of the environmental immersion. <laughs> I mean, this is very psychedelic. I can see people just doing shrooms on that. <laughs> But you're essentially playing for the high score. This can also be played in hand tracking, which... I see it. The control doesn't really contribute much to the gameplay. Like I have something on a leash. There's also this fast skill, which I don't know what does yet. Jesus, the speed.
Again? I don't know if I appreciate the shapes of this eel and stuff. It is cool, but... I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't make me comfortable. <laughs> And there's a timer apparently. But what happens later? No. I wonder how many levels are there, because it seems a lot, but I barely moved. <laughs> Some different colors going on, but not as much different. See, like this is very small now, and then later it's going to be huge. That's what she said. <laughs> This is definitely very specific gameplay. I don't think we've had something like that on the store before. But like the niche is very apparent. Also I don't know still what this does. Where are also the power-ups? Like, I must be in a very early game. It's also interesting that I get hurt only in its head, but not with the trail. I mean, you can just make however many mistakes you want, because if you play for a progression, then that's no challenge.
<laughs> the PTSD simulator. At last, it's its end. Maybe I am the villain after all. <laughs> Looks like a dragon of some sort as well. <laughs> I'm red now. It's more psychedelic. And pleasurable. <laughs> but we'll stop here. I don't necessarily know if I like this. And that's okay. Because it's not catering to what I want from VR gaming. As a project itself, it's very much decent. Like, everything works properly. Some occasional screen tears happening. Maybe due to the recording, but who knows. That's the only critic I have though, cause everything else is very much polished. It is a tad weird and specific, so not everyone will find it amusable. Most likely for the fans of the series or visual experiences in general, like psychedelic centered. With the Arsenal graphics, there's no complaints in terms of the resolution and clarity. It is not something very highly detailed because the surfaces and shapes are a little bit blocky and sharp. But the effects themselves and this eel makes up for this artistic ambience going on. It's just not for me, but I appreciate it's fully realized and ready to enjoy on the store. Wish more developers would pay attention to details, cause I do. 